a fan has three settings, off, low, or high. And you decide because they're going to turn the air conditioning off in here. We're going to have three fans on the wall. We can put like, what are all the different options? We could have them all off. We could have the middle one on high, the outside one's on low. What are all the different options? So if we would draw a tree diagram for this one, the first fan, right, could be off, it could be on low, or it could be on high. Then the second fan, you make your decision after that, well, it could be off, low, and high, off, low, and high, off, low, and high. And then the third one, and you can see this is where this method, when things get very big, gets a little bit tedious. Off, low, high, 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 off, low, high. How many are there in total? Twenty-seven, right? And if you wanted to look at one of these branches, you could just pick a random branch and say, this one here, that would be one example. Okay? But you could list them all, right? Ooh. And go on and list all 27 if you wanted to. But this question isn't asking you to list them all. It's just saying, how many are there in total? 27. And so this would be one way, using a tree diagram, to systematically show all 27. The problem with this method is it takes a lot of space, it's time consuming, and a little bit re repetitive. So what we're going to learn in the fundamental counting principle is in this case you had three decisions to make. You had to decide how you were going to set up your first fan, how you were going to set up your second fan, and how you were going to set up your third fan. And when you looked at each of those decisions, how many choices did you have for your first fan? Three. Off, low, or high. And three choices for the second one, and three choices for the third one. And if we multiply those all together, there's going to be 27 different settings that will all work. So if they do cut off the air conditioning and we get three big fans installed. We could have a different wind feeling almost every day until the end of the year. Sort of like, oh, I'm sitting in the back where it's windy and there's no breeze up at the front of class. And it'd be quite enjoyable. Okay, questions for practice on this one? Are three, four, six, eleven, and twelve. I'll let you start those right now. 